Hey everybody, today we are going to talk about our upper extremity, all right? Upper body, some shoulders and lats, tricep mobility, okay? Um, we do a lot of overhead pressing, overhead squats, we want to improve a front rack position or just get rid of pain or tightness. You gotta stretch and roll, okay? Again, 90 seconds to two minutes is that key to success. So we're gonna start with a banded distractor stretch first, okay? We're gonna put a hand through, put the uh, band together and grab with the palm up, okay? A couple different ways you can do this. One, just drop the body weight and let it pull you, okay? This is stretching my lat, my tricep, and the rear delt, okay? You can kind of twist into it. If you want to go one step further, get into a nice deep, deep lunge, kind of more of a groiner stretch here. I actually feel this in my hip flexor too, but I'm getting such a deep stretch through my lat, tricep, and shoulder, all right? Now you can do the internal version, all right? So we just went external, thumbs up, and we're gonna go internal, thumbs down, okay? This will help stretch the other part of the shoulder and work on that internal rotation. You can go into a full flex, into a relax, into a full flex, and just play with that for like 90 seconds to two minutes. If you wanna take this one step further, you must be very careful with this and be flexible. If you ain't flexible, don't try this. Okay, you're gonna bend the elbow, put this elbow here, okay, and just step out. I love this stretch because it helps stretch my trap and the front of my shoulder. All right, it feels great on the right here. And this capsule between the pec and the shoulder, okay, to help open that up. Then we can also put it, separate the muscle, okay, separate the pec from the shoulder. So we're gonna walk it forward. We can kind of move through it, okay, you can hold these positions here or just put the hand behind the back. Pull that elbow forward and just kind of floss it, okay? Get all up in there. You can just hold it there. I mean, go back and forth, work it in, okay? So there's some variations for that. Uh, so give those a try. Get your band out. Now, if you don't have a band available, okay, you can grab the pole, all right? I'm going to grab this pole like this. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab that elbow. All right, same idea, and then just kind of step away from it. It's gonna do that same thing. You're gonna feel a little different, so you gotta play with your mobility. And everything that we do, play with it. Move in different directions, move a little differently, because you may feel it differently than I feel it to the next person, okay? So there's some ideas there. Again, if you don't have anything, do the lat stretch. You can do this, grab a pole, grab a door frame. Anything that's available to you that ain't gonna move, okay? All right, then you can do it this way. All right, same thing, pulling out. Let that internal rotation, thumb down, thumb up. All right, so there's some upper extremity. Uh, oh, and we have one more, my bad. We got the front, super front rack, all right? So this can be from a high position. This kind of helps work on external rotation and your front rack. So you can move it out, you can move it in, keep it close. Okay, you're gonna feel this good stretch through the lat, a little bit of trap. Or if you took it from a low position, Okay, where the band would be coming here, you could really work on your front rack, okay? And it just pulls you up. Um, so there's some options for you to get set, to be ready, to have more mobility and less pain, all right? So give those uh, upper extremity uh, stretches a try. Let me know how it goes. If you have any questions, concerns, uh, be sure to get with me or one of the coaches to answer any questions you may have, all right? Have a good one.